Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are checking out Regloss from Hololive singing Shunkan Heartbeat, which I believe is their like debut original song. I just found out about this. I did not know there was already a new Hololive generation right after we just got Advent. But hey, I'm the more the merrier, I suppose, and I'm ready to hit play in three, two, one, play. Oh, okay. Going into like a light synth ambience with some treble based percussion. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're getting in our bass vocalist here. We're still, we're very ambient and flowing with that synth instrumentation, um, but we've got a bit of impact uh, thrown in with that, with our percussion as well. Some harmonization. Okay. All right, so we're, oh, we've, we've got a lift in our mix here. We're pulling out of our bass tones after we had that more nasal high-pitched voice uh, with some harmonization there. We're going into a very soft transition. You know, we're, we're actually transitioning to our next segment by taking away from the mix as opposed to adding more and building up, which isn't a bad idea, especially this early in the song. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. So we're going for like a soft climax to the song. You know, we're we're very warm in our tone of the of the song in general. And with all the voices together, they actually sound really nice together. I like how the vocals are mixed here. It doesn't feel like anyone's really overpowering anyone else here. Oh, nice. Nice. I like how we're, again, mirroring the harmonized vocals and mirroring those layering vocals. Um, I, I like how the backing vocals are managed here. Because, it, you know, it's just enough to add that treble support while, while we surge those bass tones, right? Because we're getting more and more bass in our instrumentation as those synths and that percussion becomes more impactful. But as we also add that treble bass to, uh, vocal backing, we're covering both ends of the mix. And that lets us just focus on the vocalist that's being in the spotlight, you know, and the vocalist that's being pushed towards the center stage. And, and it works, you know, it's a very good attitude to have towards a debut song because that's when you're showing off these different voices, right? Okay. I, I was not expecting such an abrupt transition there. I would have expected like a kind of a ride down from that big moment we had with all of them. And then we would go into the solo, but we just kind of went straight into it. But I, I suppose it does help because we had our sort of spotlight moments after that big chorus. Um, and then we're going into basically a new segment, but it's serving as a spotlight for this vocalist here with the who's kind of covering our bass vocals here. She's got the lower tonality. Nice. I like that little percussive element we're throwing in there. It's a very like, um, it's very flavorful. You know, it adds a little subtle flair to the mix there. I, I like that little dynamic percussive we got. Nice. That's 
That was a good layered vocal right there. That was really good layered vocals there. That was nice. I like that. Hmm. Okay. I, I like the pulsing synth we have here, but I <laughs> those those digital percussion, uh that kind of like build up is very cliche. I, I'm not sure how I feel about that digital percussion <laughs> build up with the kind of that soft snare. Nice. I like that. Nice. And we add those little like tambourine flares into the very digital percussion. I, I like how it's very subtle, you know, it's not very obvious, but it adds that liveliness to the mix for our second chorus. Nice. Big lift. Ooh, that was a nice head voice we got there. Nice. That little bit of vibrato there, that was solid. Nice. They sound really good together. Alright. I like that rhythm switch up. So we're going more into like this chant approach to our big chorus here. And it, it seemed like we were getting more and more of this guitar in the mix, but it seems like it's kind of fading away now that we've switched segments. You know, the, the guitar was kind of riding up in the mix, but now we're letting it push back down now that we've got the switch up, which is a good choice, I think, because we're adding the subtle excitement and build up to our big chorus so you're like what's going to come after that then we get this new segment that kind of it, it takes elements from the chorus like our big vocal group and you know the the bit atmosphere and the attitude we have towards the chorus and then we're switching up the rhythm just a bit to add this flair for our ending Oh, was not expecting that sin, but hmm. that synth is a little too abrasive. Okay, that was solid. That was solid. I enjoyed that. I, I will say that synth was not a good choice <laughs> at the very end because we were having we had such a soft and warm synth for like the entirety of the song right so i don't know why we would end on such an abrasive synth because i mean there especially when we're cooling down from such a warm and inviting chorus you know and, and it's a very positive one as well you know we, we weren't as hype as much as we were celebrate like celebratory you know, it, it was very much like inviting, warm, uh, happy, joyful, rather than it was like hype or exciting, you know? So an abrasive synth like that would have been, I, I think it would have been a lot better if we had chosen like a warmer synth, a more smooth synth rather than that abrasive one. But, you know, that's that's more of a nitpick, especially for a very small portion of the song. Um, so I'm not gonna try I'm gonna try not to like hyper focus on that Although I may have already done that But uh, overall song as a whole that was pretty solid. I, I will say, you know it, it wasn't like it didn't do anything crazy uh, which Could be a good thing could be a bad thing depending on who you are when you're looking at debut songs because this is like showing off their group regloss like what their group is it's a first song to my knowledge so 
I, I would have liked something maybe a little more adventurous, uh, something a little more dangerous in terms of uh, music composition. Um, but this was still a comfortable, solid song. It wasn't like uh, there was, it, it wasn't like it was lacking in any way. You know, the mix was solid. I enjoyed the bit of like spotlights we had for the vocalists, right? Because it wasn't like we were going complete isolation, at least for most of them. I think there were like two or three segments where we had complete isolation. But other than that, it was mostly just we had like these layered vocals supporting the main vocalist at that moment. And then we'd kind of swap out who the main vocalist was. And then the chorus would come and we'd have all of them sing together. Then we'd do uh, vocal showcases to ride down into the next segment where that bassy, uh, the more bassy vocal would come in and then take us uh, into our next verse which would eventually build up into our next big chorus where we add some more flair to the instrumentation we add that uh tambourine percussive and uh, just a more excitement to the mix and then we take that and switch it up into a new rhythm switch up with all of the vocalists then we do you know we just kind of ride that out into the ending i i thought it was a pretty solid it was pretty solid overall i enjoyed it i i, I will say you know for a new group to come out, especially right after Advent. You know, I, I do know that this isn't like the English branch of Hollow Live, so, you know, it's not like they're necessarily competing for audiences or anything like that. But look, to come out right after Advent, um, I, I, I would have liked if it was a little more adventurous, you know, if there was something a little more characteristic of the group, you know, to kind of show this new spin on what they're going to do. Um, Yes, from this, all I really got was it's just kind of like a happy idol group, which it's okay, but that's kind of what Hololive is to begin with. So, so I would have liked a little bit of a spin on that, but that's okay. I, I think this was still a very solid song. It did what it set out to do, and I enjoyed it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. As always, feel free to recommend more things for me to check out in the comments below. And aside from that, feel free to subscribe from, to the channel if you want to see more reactions like this one. I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much.